Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating this really cool and responsive landing page with zero code, all in Framer. So make sure you open a new tab, open your Framer app, and I'm going to add the remix link to this so you guys can also practice with it. So sit back and let's get designing. All right guys, so we're in Framer and I'm just going to create a new file here. And I have my new file and we're going to start by building a nav bar. So I'll just press I on my keyboard, which brings up this section. And we can go to sections here and search for nav. So I'll just bring it in navigation bar. And there we go. We have a nav bar. And I'll create some extra breakpoints for tablets and mobile. And you can see Framer is already creating a responsive nav bar for us. Next, let's move into the hero section of the website. So I'll tap I again, which is insert, and I will go to section. And there are a lot of sections we can pick, but let's just use this one. I'll drag it in, and then I'll put in my text. So I'll select this. Bring on my clipboard and put in a platform for creatives by creatives. I'm putting join us today as well. All right. Now I want to create styles for this text we've added. So this we're going to move to styles. On that text styles, we'll create a new style. I'll call this heading one. And we'll click on edit and create a breakpoint for this type. Right, that's going to help you to scale down on all the different screens as you can see here. Right. And for our subtext, we'll also create a style for it. So go to styles and we can call this our heading two. Also click on edit and add a breakpoint for it. So let's come here and add our image. So I'll just double click this and I will use the Unsplash plugin and we can just search for designer. So we'll use this image, right? And there we go. We have our hero page font, but let's make sure this is going to be responsive. So we'll make sure each of our text, the width is set to fill. That is going to be very important for responsivity. So we'll just confirm that and everything looks good to go. Let's click on our preview button here so we can see how our website scales on different skin. And you can see how it's very responsive on mobile, tablet and desktop. Next, we're going to be building this ticker section here, which is a scrollable section. So we'll just come here and search for ticker and just pull that into my artboard. We're going to set the width to fill and I can adjust the height just a little here. Now each of the components being added here, each of the items being added to the ticker need to be components. So I've already created these components for logos here, which you can do by pressing Ctrl Alt key. So I'll double click on my ticker and click on children and I'll just add each of my logos as children on the ticker. Okay, so we've added all of them, but they are kind of matched up. So we'll just set the gap between them to 100 and you can see how that spreads out. So let's click on the preview button to see how that works. And you can see our logo is scrolling and we can scale it down on different versions as well. Next, we'll be building this image card section and we'll just come over tap I again and we can search within the sections and bring in this section, right? 
so we'll just update each of our text so we'll use the style one the heading one for this and for this we'll use the heading two also make sure each of your texts the width is set to fill so that that scales properly across board we'll do the same thing for here as well just set this to heading one and set this to heading two i will update the images here so we can just go to unsplash and search for anything relating to sigma and anything relating to templates or ui design and our website is forming slowly across board all right so next we are going to be building this testimonial section and we also have uh, components for that in Framer. so under the sections i'll just search for the testimonial which we have here and i'll just pull it into my board and there we have three cards already built so remember to also create styles for your text so on that text styles we'll just create a new style for this and we'll use paragraph also don't forget to click on edit and click on add breakpoint so it scales down properly so we'll also change these two paragraphs and give them the body style and we'll make sure each of our text is set to fill which it is already and you can see our rectangles are kind of hanging down there's extra space here I can leave that if you want but I didn't really like it so I'll just select each of them and set their height now from fix change it to fit content so it locks in exactly with the height of the testimonial i can see how that scales properly across board also we're just going to add images for our testimonial givers so you can just search for face and we'll just put random faces in all right and that section is done so next we'll move to the upcoming features and building these image cards so let's go back to our draft and click on i search within the section panel again for the templates we need and here it is we'll just pull it in here but remember there was a text above so we'll just click on t for our text tool and click within the frame and type in upcoming features and we'll change the text style to heading one you can see how that scales properly and we'll just align it to the center and we can just add images here using the unsplash plugin again Also remember to set this to fill. Set each of their widths to fill so that it scales properly across board. And we can create styles for these as well. So we can use heading three. Click on edit and add a breakpoint. And for this, we can actually use the body for this. That works well. For this, we set it to heading three. 
and for this we we'll set it to body you can also just reduce the gap between the text here so under our layouts we can change the gap to maybe 10 likewise this and that's just fine and you can see how our image is being responsive across board next we would be adding our footer so we'll just click on i we can actually search for footer and frame has given us two templates we'll use this one and you can see how the temp the footer is also responsive across board so let's click on preview to see how our site is looking and you can see the desktop form looking very clean and responsive and if you also adjust it to see for tablet and mobile you can see how that looks very good all right guys so we are done with the basic layout and we can actually click on publish to see how this is going to work on your real site so i'll just click on this link which is going to take us straight to our browser i can see guys we have a fully responsive site live on the web definitely there are other things we could do to adjust the spacing but that's just the basic step-by-step -step process on how you can build your own website in Frema. I'm going to add the link to this project within the description so you guys can remix it and let me see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and always stay creative. Bye-bye.